and gentlemen. Hey, Mom, good night. I'm going to hit the Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's happening, boys, and welcome to Headliner Prediction Tuesday. That's right, today we are doing a little bit different of a type of a video. Uh, Team of the Year has just ended, went out on a little bit of a fizzle out, if I'm uh, if I'm being honest with you. Two days with back-to-back, -back, basically no content in terms of players or objectives or anything like that. Um, but the counter-argument to that, and I, I suppose I would say there's a lot for us to grind for in-game right now, so it gives us a little bit of time off. Still, I don't think there's any excuse for not having any content at all. I think we got a couple Team of the Year Challenge SPCs. Uh, but outside of that, I feel like Team of the Year kind of fizzled out, um, kind of fizzled out given that we had an entire Sunday and then also an entire Monday where we didn't have anything new and there was like a really, really nice opportunity to throw in, throw in that Ebra card that everyone was hoping for, but, uh, alas, I suppose it was not meant to be. We packed ourselves, however, a Team of the Year Kevin De Bruyne, um, and, uh, spent the least amount of money that I think I've ever spent in, uh, in Team of the Year, so I feel, feel pretty damn good about that and unfortunately was not able to get anything on the RTG, but, uh, that is neither here nor there today it is all about headliners ea announced about an hour and a half ago a brand new promo or i should say a promo that we had last year but it's gonna be brand new for this year headliners now if you guys remember from last year it's basically a glorified ones to watch that stays one ahead of a current inform so uh, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today i have 10 items uh, i have 10 prediction players who you guys helped me pick on twitter and then also i added my own flair into it uh, and then we're going to go into exactly what players are qualified to be possible headliners and then what players um um and what <laughs> drop a like on the video if you're forgetful as well drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to headliners drop a like on the video if you wish it was future stars instead of headliners i mean we we will get future stars at one point that is the one positive at some point during fifa 20 we're gonna get ourselves future stars and i'm looking forward to it so we've got the article pulled up here from fifa 19 these were the cards last year some really some remarkable cards if you remember um that uh that duvan zapata was really really nuts the youngman son was nice because i think he was a position change from a winger to a striker Werner the burner and leroy sane were very nice as well now if we go down here uh, which items are currently eligible? So this is the most important part, okay? Uh, in addition, to, by the way, I tweeted out this exact text and so many of you guys, there were like a hundred replies, so many of you guys, so many of you guys didn't understand what this was, what this, what this actually meant. So we're going to break it down here. So which, which cards qualify for uh, a headliner, okay? Um, uh, well, FIFA 19, and I'm assuming uh, the, the, the criteria is going to be pretty much the same for FIFA 20. Headliners are curated selection of players who are on an exceptional run of form through the season so far. So it doesn't necessarily need to be an incredible start. It could be maybe a great past couple, you know, maybe the last month he had an exceptional performance. Maybe uh, the first uh, few weeks of the season he had an incredible performance. So we're going to find out. Uh, certainly we're going to find out once they're released. But in addition to qualify for selection as a foot 19 headliner, the player must have at least one performance based in form this season. And that that's definitely, uh, we, we picked our uh, predictions based on that. And must not have an existing dynamic item, team of the year item, or a base item rated 90 or above in foot 19. So... What does that mean? All the team of the tournament, uh, all all the uh, Champions League live items, all the UEL live items, all the ones to watch cards are uh, automatically uh, uh, bounced out of this. So Quincy Promise, for example, um, uh, Christian Pulisic, uh, I'm thinking about uh, Pepe, as well as Vissam Ben Yedder, who hopefully wins the player of the month for, for Liga, and he's up against some guy, and then also Dimitri Payet. So hopefully he wins that. Um, so yeah, basically if you have a live item on a card, and I don't believe Ultimate Scream cards this year count as a live item because they're not live. They're literally, uh, they're static. So they, they stay the same. So there's literally, literally three card types. The Champions League live item, the Europa League live item, and then the uh, the ones to watch. If any player has those particular cards already, they're not qualified to be a headliner. Uh, and then they also have to have at least one performance-based inform. Can have a Team of the Year item, which is interesting because let's take Luvendor for example, who has an 89 rated base card and fits the qualification of having a card that's 90 rated or under, um, uh, that, that has a card that's uh, 90, uh, that's below 90 rating. He has a team of the year nominee item. Now, does that count as a team of the year item? I don't know. I mean, it, technically it should because it's a team of the year item, but uh, that's kind of, that would be really, really disappointing if a minimal upgrade from an 89 to 90 Lewandowski, just because he was like a nominee, affects his ability to get a 93 rated card which would be absolutely uh, 93 rated headliner card which would be absolutely freaking incredible our foot headliners dynamic uh they are dynamic they get automatically upgraded if they earn an inform so it's pretty season uh, it's pretty easy if they get another inform the headliner will always stay above uh, the headliner will get updated to always stay plus one ahead of that now so uh, there's a couple images that i saw on twitter 
There's uh, Bateson tweeted out daily load up screen investigation thread. Uh, Bates and a couple other people on Twitter found that there's these W's. Let's see if we can find it. There's four W's, and this is like literally my favorite part of uh, FIFA Twitter is when these splash, scre uh, splash screens come out, everyone turns into CSI investigator mode. There's four W's, and at first I thought maybe that's Bayern's run of form because we also have this. The numbers 17, 19, and 2 are also shown in the splash screen as well. And that sh uh, and basically Lewandowski has played 17 games, scored 19 goals, and had two assists. So I don't know. Does that all but guarantee that he's going to get one? What else could the 17, 19, and the number 2? 17, 19, and 2 show up in the splash screen somewhere. And legitimately, what else could that mean? And my first thought was maybe the four W's uh, indicate... Um, a Bayern's run of form, but they're currently on three wins. The only other team that has more than three wins in the last uh, three games is uh, Köln. Um, so I don't know if that's what that hints as. I think that the 4W stands for like uh, recent form. So like a team that's been like winning a lot or at some point in the season, this uh, this particular player helped them get to a bunch of wins. So I think maybe it's just that simple. But then you have the 4Ws and then the four like miles per hour. I don't know. Is that like four, like a plus four upgrade? Does that mean that the headliner would get a damn plus four upgrade, which would absolutely be kind of crazy? So I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's exactly it, but a uh, bunch of people are, are uh, hypostulizing or postulizing uh, what these could possibly be. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at some, uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of predictions. I'm going to start off with a Genie Wijnaldum and I want to make sure that this looks right. Yeah, we're going to start off with a, a, a Genie Wijnaldum card. Obviously Liverpool top of the table, very likely going to win the league. Uh, already has himself an inform, doesn't have a dynamic image and has been a pretty important part of uh, Liverpool's season. So I could see Genie Wijnaldum, again, he, Liverpool also very close to EA in terms of like promo stuff, had a couple player of the months. So uh, 81 pace, 78 shooting, 82 passing. I think I'm being a little bit conservative with the rating here. And again, I'm just assuming like a basic upgrade. I'm not assuming anything nuts like maybe that uh, splash screen indicates uh, the number four. I don't know if it's going to be a plus four upgrade or something like that. I don't think they would go that crazy with it. But um, this would be most likely what uh, Gina Wijnaldum's 86 rated card would look like. And again, at any time in the epi, you guys let me know if you guys agree, if you guys disagree, or if you have any other ideas for players that could possibly make it in based on that stipulation. Again, it has to be no live item, has to be a player that is below 90 rated. Uh, Lewandowski obviously is uh, 89. And then speaking of Lewandowski, this is what his card could look like if we get it. A 93 rated Lewandowski with 83 pace and 90 dribbling. The one thing about Lewandowski's card that's always really tough to get a, a handle on is uh, is his dribbling. For me, you know I'm an agility mad lad, so I like to get my uh, my body fades going on. This card would be absolutely tasty. I'm wearing the Bayern. For all intents and purposes, I'm calling this the Bayern Headliners Kit. And if I can't wear this at some point next weekend because Lewandowski doesn't get himself a headliner card, I will be sadly, sadly disappointed. So, uh, I've got 10 players here. We looked at Vinaldum, we looked at Lewandowski, so we got Bundesliga and Premier League covered. Let's pop on over to the Serie A. Lautaro Martinez has a team of the tournament card for Champions League, but it is not a live item, which means that he could, if he does make it, uh, also get some, would get himself an 87 rated uh, headliners card. He already also has an inform. You need a performance-based inform as well, so he has that inform alongside the team of the tournament card, and uh, this would stay, uh, he would turn into, I believe, an 87 rated card. He's the perfect candidate because he's been so important for for Inter this season. And then speaking of Inter, wait, Nangalan doesn't play for Inter. He plays for Gagliari. Why am I? <laughs> oh, to make this headliner card, I had to go to Fudhead and use their generator from last year. That's why it says Inter. Okay. So uh, Nangalan is one of those players who is currently in SBC heaven because we were hoping alongside the flashback Ibra, alongside the foot Miss Gabriel Jesus, Nangalan is one of those cards that we've just been hoping for uh, to get closer to club 80. And if he does, because he does have an inform card, doesn't have a dynamic pick, uh, if he does get himself, uh, if he does get himself a headliner card, it could look something like this: 77 pace, 86 shooting, 83 passing. Would be very, very close to club 80, but I don't think he quite sneaks in. You guys have to forgive me. Inter should be Cagliari. I know that. Uh, 88 dribbling, 85 defending, and 86 physical would be an absolute, absolute mad lad. Um, and uh, he would rival some of the best midfielders in game. So we've got we got the Serie A, we got the Bundesliga, we've got the Premier League. Let's go back to the Premier League. Um, for a couple cards that I know people are really, really wanting. This Tammy Abraham has obviously been very important for uh, for Chelsea. Would be an 86-rated card. I know it's the three-star, three-star, but 85 pace, 86 shooting. He's got some nice bit of strength on him with the 79 physical, 82 dribbling. And even if it goes up to an 86, I don't think it would be a nuts-rated card. But for, for the Premier League aficionados out there, specifically for the Chelsea aficionados, uh, this Tammy Abraham would be really, really fun to use in game. He's 6'4", um, has heading stats for days, even though I can't figure out how to do them. But uh, Tammy Abraham would be a... Would be a 
fun Premier League card to get. It would be nice to see him get it outside of like a Vardy and Rashford who are like kind of meta and we already have special versions of their cards. So I really would like to see Tamri Abraham get a card uh, that's juiced up plus he links into uh, Captain uh, Captain America. So we'll stay in the Premier League. We're going to go with uh, Dukure. Watford, I believe, are almost in the relegation zone, so I'm not sure. I think he has something like three or four goals. I I don't really know too much about Watford, if I'm being honest with you. I know one of my uh, one of my mods on the on stream, uh, Hogfishy, is a huge uh, Watford player, is a huge Watford supporter, so I'm no, I know he'd enjoy getting this card. And uh, for those of us um, for those of us in the game, dude, this this card would be absolutely nuts. He would probably cost an arm and a leg. If he's an SBC, he would cost a fortune uh, because, like I said, he would be a, a pretty nuts card, as you guys can see based on these stats. Another player who is close to Club 80, a.k.a. Club Hullet. So, are we out of the Prem? No, we're not out of the Prem. We actually have one more Premier League player, and that's Adama Traore. People were hoping that he was maybe going to get himself Player of the Month. An 86-rated card would see him get a 99 pace ultimate uh, ultimate team item. 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 78 passing, and 85 physical. I've got his ultimate scream dynamic pick on this uh, on this card. And uh, this would be an absolutely insane card. A 99 pace Adama Traore. Imagine seeing that in the splash screen before you go in a game versus someone in the weekend league. Uh, we are going to hop on over to... Uh, Liga Santander, another big league. Uh, he has himself an inform, doesn't have any dynamic items, so is a guy who would definitely be eligible to get this card. Has obviously been very, very good for Madrid. Um, and, uh, would be an 88 rated center back card. And anytime, if he got an inform, he would stay one ahead of it. So if he got an, uh, an inform that went up to 88, he'd go up to 89. 89 defending, 85 physical, 86 pace would be one of the most dominant center backs, one of the most dominant defensive players in the game, no question of it. Um, and then, uh, that does it for Liga Santander. I, I wanted to keep it to 10 just so I didn't, because literally there's so many guys that are deserving of it and so many guys that we could possibly pick. I decided to go for some, a combination of meta and then also a combination of players that I would love to see. We looked at Lewandowski, we looked at Lauturo, we looked at Nangolan. Uh, Donny van de Beek, my, uh, my graphic designer, Luke, he's an Ajax supporter. I know we just got the, uh, Ziyech objective, but, uh, 86 van de Beek would be a fun one to get. He's been really, really good. Um... Midfielder stats are a little bit more difficult to track, but if an Ajax player gets it, would be very cool because he does have an 84 rated inform, doesn't have a dynamic, uh, doesn't have a dynamic card, and would be a very, very healthy looking uh, Dutch card, and would look cool alongside like a Kvinci Promise and a Ziyech. So that'd be kind of would be really, really cool to see ourselves a uh, a uh, Donny van de Beek. Now we end things on the last player, and this is a little bit of a wild card. It is none other than Mislav Orsic, who has an 82 rated inform. If he got an 84, it would be one of the most insane 84 rated cards that we have ever seen. His 82 has the stats of a player that looks like he's 87 or 88 rated, and an 84 Mislav Orsic would he would break the game. He would legitimately be eligible as a player who would possibly break the game. I couldn't find too many stats. I think he's got two league goals and six goals in um, in Champions League. So he's had a good season. Obviously, he has had a good season for in Champions League as well. But uh, an 85 Mislav Orsic would absolutely uh, break the game. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That does it for my predictions for the 10 players for headliners. It's a promo that I'm tr uh, I'm trying to get excited for because I was sort of in Future Stars mode. I was hoping that we were going to get like Future Stars as a promo. But um, if it is headliners, I hope EA do it right. Uh, I hope we get some objective players. I, I hope it's a combination of objectives, SPCs, and then just a release of cards. I don't know how many we're going to get. Maybe 10 or 11 or something like that. But uh, I, I am very much looking forward to it. I think it's hopefully it's going to be like a... Uh, a, a cheaper team of the year, if that makes sense. The only thing I don't like about team of the year is how expensive it, it always seems to be. So hopefully this is the promo. Uh, hopefully this is the promo for us peasants. But that's going to do it for the Epi Boys. Let me know in the comment section below what your dream headliner card looks like. You guys let me know some players that you think would be great for headliners. Again, has to be uh, has to be below 90 rated. Can't have a dynamic, uh, can't have a dynamic card uh, and has to have one performance based in form. At least that's what it's based on in FIFA 19. We'll find out, I'm sure, soon enough if the FIFA 20 requirements are different. But anyway my bros hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys did drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i'll see you guys for another upload tomorrow please let Lewandowski be one of them till next time my bros choose later ade